The User Progress tool helps track student progress in a course by measuring their completion of nine different progress indicators. Instructors can use the User Progress to track their students' overall progress and prepare progress reports, while students can use the User Progress to keep track of all their course-specific assignments and feedback. To get to the User Progress, you click on the Reports tab on the navbar, click User Progress. This will take you onto the class progress page showing all the students in the class. So you can see I can scroll down and see all the students. And if I have more than, you know, I think it's 10 students, it will be on another page. The class progress page will provide by default four progress indicators. You're going to see content, and that will that's, gives you an idea of how many topics the students have visited, as you can see here, based on how many total there are. You'll see objectives. This will only display if you're using something called the competency tool. If you're not, don't worry about it. You'll see logins. Now, the misconception of these login information is that this is not login to your course. This is login to your uh, to the My Courses. And then you'll finally see grades. And if you mouse over the grades, it'll give you a quick idea of the student's overall grade. And if you didn't mean to click on that. And if you just mouse over in here, you get to see on each of the graph how well the student did on each of the progresses there. Now you can filter using the filter to if you have groups <coughs> or sections. If you want to see what a specific group has done, you can click on the name of the group in the filter and it should filter down to that specific group, as you can see. I want to change it back to all users. I just go back to the all users. That's one way of filtering. You can also search for a specific student if you want to. And that's by clicking in this in the search users box. And then if I type in search and I click on the little search icon or hit the enter, it'll let me see that search for one specific student. And that's helpful because um, I don't have to scroll through a long list. So you see I did train 13. Now the last thing you can do on this page, and if I hit the X it'll go back to on this user progress page, um, is that if you see a student's progress is lacking, you can easily send them an email. That's by simply placing your mouse over the profile picture and you'll click the send email. This will bring up the email tool where you put in your subject, you put in the body, and you click send.